All right, Shalom Israel. Um, I'm Asher Jacob Israel. I'm Gaboya Banashar. Okay, today's topic is regarding um, several but few of the brothers from uh, the Southern Kingdom regarding the Northern Kingdom as far as natives not being Israelites. Uh, they have certain criteria or doubts and like regarding our looks, our size, our color of our skin and uh, our culture. So we're going to um, we're gonna reprove and get some scripture with a little bit of uh, historical uh, facts of how the two kingdoms went the separate ways and that changed our culture, even our uh, physical uh, appearance. And we're going to pretty much pick each subject, uh, the ones they bring up while we're not Israelites. Uh, even though we know we're Israelites, um, regarding the differences in physical appearance and uh, culture. So, our first we're going to pick is the our, our looks. They say we don't look black because the, the certain uh, minority that say the Native Americans are not Israelites because saying we don't look black. But that in itself is an irony because there are black men that have white fathers. So, if you only go by the color of skin or the appearance, they're just going <clears> to <throat> pretty much going to. Um, gonna be conf uh, confused. We're gonna err. <laughs> yes. Much. So the first scripture we're gonna look at is gonna be uh, 1 Samuel 16 7. Because Israel's been mixing itself now from from the beginning of the time and everything's gonna look differently. Our culture, our skin, our physical appearance, our faces. And Samuel, uh, Samuel 1, 1 Samuel 16 7 uh, will describe a little bit regarding that. Uh, most high telling us not to judge just based on appearance and height because he already knew what we, what we were going through. We were mixing ourselves with the Gentiles. with the other nations. So, um, 1 Samuel 16 and 7. 1 Samuel 16 and 7. But the Most High said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Most High seeth not as a man seeth, for men looketh on the outer appearance, but the Most High looketh on the heart. You see, the Most High sees the heart because we miss ourselves so many times now that to ourselves it's gonna be real hard to notice the the very few that we might think they're not Israelites, but they are Israelites. You know, uh, I do believe in the twelve chart, but then itself has a little loophole because there are Israelites that are also the, uh, they look beyond it, American and blacks. There we will we'll pretty much like the multitude of the sand. You know, they are going to be Israelites that look Arabs. They are going to, unfortunately, uh, m most people not, might not like it. They are going to be Israelites that look Caucasian, you know. And not even that they, uh, they look Caucasian from a black man or a white mother. Black, uh, two black couple can have white children, albinos. Native Americans can have white children that look Caucasian, but it came from a Native American mother and a Native American uh, father and mother. And the other scripture is going gonna, is gonna to be uh, Jeremiah 1 8. Can I say something before we go to that scripture? Yeah. Uh, and as, uh, for example, um, you know, uh, Isaac and, and, Re and Rebecca, okay, they had Esau. So Esau came from, you know, two, two black parents. So, you know, so it's not, un uh, it, it's not like, it, like incapable or impossible for our people to have, you know, uh, what, we was, what we will call. Um, leprous children, you know, so it's, it's, it's not unfathomable, it's not like, un, you know, incapable of that happening, impossible of that happening, it can happen. So we have to, you know, yes, the majority of us have our looks, and we know, you know, that we look like black, Hispanics, Native Americans, but, you know, there are that few, you know, that, that do fall out of that realm, and do fall into the, um, the looks of the other nations, okay? So what's the scripture we're looking for? Jeremiah one eight. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 1, verse 8. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, said the Most High. See, um, this is the thing. The, the southern kingdom mixed heavily with the, Ham the, the Hamites, the Moabites, and the Ammonites. And while the northern kingdom mixed most heavily with the Assyrians and uh, the Edomites. That's why there's, when we separated and went to slavery, different slavery, we mixed with those nations, you know. And when... Uh, the sound kingdom is with the Hamites, 
there were already two black nations that they kept their pretty much their skin color and physical appearance. So the children, even though it, even if they they mix, they're gonna come looking more like the original uh, as our forefathers. Well, us we didn't because we mix ourselves more lighter, and it and that's why um, when certain the several but few of the southern kingdom uh, people that say we're not Israelite, they see our faces and they 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 have fear like no, they're not Israelite because they don't look like us. But like I mentioned earlier, you know that you can you can see another black man, but his father could be white, and you know because that's that's happen with people like it or not. There are one white males that are having children with black females, they're American females, and around the world with all the female Israelites. That's gonna change the appearance. That some are gonna be our people, but some are gonna look like us, but but they're not. And the next topic is gonna be size, because this because I've been hit. People call me people have been uh, said I'm not Israel because these different topics because looks and size. And size is kind of a big issue for a lot of people. They say, well, you know, Latinos are not are short, they're not as tall uh, black Americans, but they but they know our history of uh of what happened in the past. When um when Native American slavery, we were almost two hundred years enslaved before our black brothers and black sisters were brought from uh the uh the coast the coast of Africa. And unfortunately we we're, we're Native Americans by the time they rebelled, they already had killed the strong the strong uh the strong man, the tall man. At one point, Native Americans, you look at history, uh, most of the Native Americans from the North, we were the tallest people on Earth. A lot of people don't know, understand, because we used to be healthy. And the genetics, because we came from the uh, Middle East, or pretty much Middle East is Africa now. It's always been Africa. But the point is, by the time our strong male rebel, the Europeans already had killed a, a rebellion. They had killed the strong male, and the tallest, the strongest. So we won't rebel no more. And that's why they went to Africa to get uh, a black brothers and black sisters as slaves to replace us. But then here comes the diff the, uh, the different part what happened with uh, black uh, slavery. For lack of better words, not to sell nobody though, but this this is the word pretty much describe it. They bred the the uh, the black slaves to be stronger, taller. So when when uh, when I see my black brothers um, who don't believe we're Israelite mocking us because we're shorter than them, like we chose to be short. You know, it has, to, it has nothing to do with genetics, but how both slaveries went apart and were treated differently. With us, they kill a strong man, so we're not rebel. A strong, tall man. With black Americans, because they want to continue the cycle of uh, uh, free slavery, bondage, for lack, like I said, for lack of a better word, they break you to be taller and stronger. But we don't look at that into past history. And I, uh, that's why in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 33, 24. Deuteronomy uh, 33, 24. 34, okay. The book of Deuteronomy 33, verse 24. And of Asher, he said, Let Asher be blessed with children. Let him be acceptable to his brethren, and let him dip his foot in oil. See, the Most High even said it like, we most like this is like the the opposite of the, what scripture is saying. Like, we want us to be accepted, but our brothers, especially from the Sun Kingdom, will not accept us because they look at us differently, like height, our color of our skin, our physical appearance, and and also our culture. And they, they will not accept us. But the Most High says, "Let us be accepted to our, to our brother, because you um, chastise chastise us for how our forefathers went in separate ways." And the next scripture is going to be John 7, 24. The book of John, verse 7, chapter 7, verse 24, right? Yeah. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. See, our brand is so concerned first trying to like judge it by our appearance the way we look. We know we're Israelites, but they cannot get past that phase of the physical appearance called skin size so they already like automatically just like abandon us and i'm not saying ever i'm just talking about the so few that have been coming putting out videos regarding we're not israelites and uh the next topic is gonna be color of skin because like i said northern and the southern kingdom mix themselves but with two different nations you know if we mix ourselves with the same nations but two different kingdoms we mix ourselves more often with different nations than with the same nations and 
uh, the, the Bible speaks of that, like Jeremiah 12, 9. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 12, verse 9. Mine heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. See, the most I knew that most I knew Moab always prophesies and it becomes true. So he already knew what was, Israel was going to do. Mosai knew that Israel was going to rebel himself. It was going to mix himself with the people. So like a speckled bird. speckled bird has black dots, brown dots, even a white dots. So Israel comes in all colors and sizes. As long as they're the, the forefathers from, uh, from Jacob, Isaac, and Abraham. So, uh, But the next um, scripture is going to be uh, Hosea 7.8. Hosea 7, 8. The book of Hosea, chapter 7, verse 8. Ephraim, he hath mixed himself among the people. Ephraim is a cake not turned. You see, we mix ourselves so, so often. Even today, we're mixing ourselves, you know. Not everybody knows with the Israelites and those that don't know. They're still marrying all the women and all the men mixing our children. Some of them are going to look like us, some are not. You know, not all Israel is going to be Israel. But it's not important just to judge on size, color, skin, and physical appearance. Because, you know, the most important is spiritual. You got to be an Israelite first. But you also got to take the, 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 the spirit because not all Israel is going to go to the kingdom of heaven anyway. So, and, uh, so our next topic is going to be our culture. Because this is very, this is important, very important. Because um, I, I want to read this first. Uh, 1 Maccabees one eleven. First Maccabees, the book of First Maccabees in the Apocrypha, one and eleven. In those days when they're out of Israel, wicked men, who persuaded many, saying, "Let us go and make a covenant with the heathen that are around about us, for since we departed from them, we have had much sorrow." The reason I brought this scripture is because I want to hit every subject: look, size, color, culture. And now with culture, I've seen videos where they say, "Oh, Native American, Americans are Asian." Or uh, recently, they they putting out that um they're 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 then Asiatic Asian people in Russia who are called indigenous. There's only a, but the group only below is a is a thousand yeah it's a, only one thousand right now they're three thousand, but because they dress like Native Americans and have feathers, they believe that we came from them. But here's the interesting part they don't tell you. That's why like when people put videos out there by a topic, they don't fully research or the background of it. Just like the Judites went all the way to Caesarea. And introduce them our, our way of style, our lifestyle, our commandment and statute to our uh, people who call themselves uh, white Jews now. We did that. We we go to the people and we teach them what we're not supposed to teach them about our, our culture. Same thing happened with Native Americans. People from Asia would come, well, that group only has a thousand, has a thousand of people. They, they Even now, um, uh, we'll show, uh, I'm going to show a slide through the whole uh, video regarding the, the topics we talk about. This group of uh, Russian indigenous, they come to the United States to actually um, see our culture. So they mimic our culture. So when people put videos regarding, oh, Native Americans came from them. For one, there's millions of Native Americans. There's only a thousand of them. So for a million people to come from only a thousand people, that's that's ludicrous. The, the, the math doesn't add up. And uh, the very straight is pretty much uh, also a hoax that pretty much Caucasian just put out there. <clears throat> but uh, it's, it's, it's easy to put videos out there, but you have to put like pretty much evidence in the background. Just not put something out there, just see if it sticks. And uh, those are the topics that we want, want we want to hit. And uh, uh, this is my cousin. We want to introduce ourselves, so we will also want to keep the the video short. And we will make more videos, longer and more uh, and specific. But um, uh, but this hopefully helps edify or helps explain that we are uh, Israelites. It doesn't matter the the uh, color skin, the physical appearance, the height, or the culture, you know. Because our culture is never is also uh, 
we enjoy black black American culture. Us, they enjoy our culture. Like a lot of people don't know, like basketball, hockey, football, um, baseball derives from Native American culture. You know. And our, our, I mean, look at even our, mu our music, you know, intertwined between uh, Native American instruments, Black American instruments, and pretty much with the salt, with the salt of the, uh, of the world. Without us, it would be a boring place. But with that said, we will make more videos, uh, being more specific. These just to introduce ourselves and to help the the Northern Kingdom out there, uh, those that are being pushed away or might have doubts because all the videos are saying they're not Israelites. Uh, with that said, uh, Shalom Israel. And uh, may the Most High bless us all. Shalom.